Hello and welcome to episode 159 of The Pilgrimage on FM23. I'm Jamie and coming up on today's episode I'm going to show you two games. In the first match I'll show you Aston Villa at home in the Premier League. I'll then play our Champions League game against Juventus off camera. And I'll bring you back for the trip to Manchester United in the Premier League. And since you were last with me, we've had uh, a perfect run of form. So let's see if we can continue that on today's episode. And the team to face Aston Villa is coming up in just a moment. OK, here is the uh, team then to uh, face Aston Villa. And it is Falcao in goal. Back four of Comey, Martos, Stilmis and Wagstaff. Boyle at the base of midfield, Alonso and Lopez ahead of him, Lapsovic on the left, Bidner on the right, Shevchik up front. So let's submit the team and go and give a team talk. Okay, well my assistant is recommending We've been on a good run lately. Go out there and impress me. He's certainly not wrong in that regard. So let's um, outstretch the arms. No, that doesn't work. So we'll pump the fists and agree with him. And let's go into the tunnel for our tunnel interview. Uh, your team have hit a purple patch in front of goal recently. That's got to be pleasing. If, you, if we're scoring, we're doing something right. I think that's fair. Um, it's a big day all round. How much do you look forward to taking on your rivals? Uh, dressing room are chomping at the bit. Um, Mark Tolbert isn't in the squad today, but isn't injured as far as we know. Why is he out? I've rotated the team for this match. It's one of the matches he's not involved in. And uh, let's get into the action. As always, first 10 minutes, unless anything dramatic happens, then we won't be making any... Uh, substitutions or any interventions of any kind and then after that we'll evaluate how things are going and make some decisions as Martos brings it forward finds Lapsovic gets it back from Alonso Martos to Comey this time Lapsovic to Alonso Comey to Boyle Boyle's ball out to the right wing for Bidner who gets to the byline and has been tackled fairly apparently uh, Wagstaff wins it back, cuts it back for Bidner, who shoots and finds the back of the net with nine and a half minutes gone. It is Newcastle United 1, Aston Villa 0. And that's a great start. Let's get the uh, league table up so we can keep an eye on that. We'll do that once this highlight is over. Markovic into uh, Toll, I think that was. Uh, Lapsovic cuts inside, shoots, but he's got no power on it, so Camacho finds that easy to deal with. And there is the league table. We're up to second in the table. Uh, just a point behind uh, Tottenham as it stands. And they are currently 1-0 down to Stoke. So, in fact, we've gone top. So that obviously has only just happened. Uh, Alonso to Martos. Boyle to Comey, who, lo who loses it. But Martos picks it up, finds Boyle. Alonso to Lapsovic. Plays it back. And uh, Yanni's won it for Aston Villa. Vigario to Wilson. Ball over the top, but Comey cuts that out. Finds Martos. Into Lapsovic, finds Alonso, Martos to Comey, infield is Boyle, Alonso to Shevchik, back to Sotilmis, to the right is Wagstaff, over the halfway line, plays it forward for uh, Lopez, gets to the byline, pulls it back for Wagstaff, into Boyle who shoots, Lopez's cross, and it's pinballs around in the area, Shevchik puts it in the net, Question mark over offside. I'm honestly not sure on this one. So I'm not going to stick my neck on the line. And the goal's awarded. It is 2 0. So uh, Mikhail Shevchik makes it 2 and keeps us top of the table for now. Things are going well. Absolutely, they are. 
do we need to make any changes at half time I think we do I think we need to take Oscar Lopez off and bring on Zerbrug and that will do I think the rest of them are just fit enough to uh, to cope for now as Comey has the throw in on the left Boyle gives it back to him it's crossed into the area headed away but Zerberg picks up the uh, loose ball Bidner and the shot comes in there's an appeal for offside I'm not sure who the offside decision would be against the goal's given though it's 3-0 and uh, we are strengthening our position at the top ahead of Spurs who still trail uh, Stoke 1-0 and uh, things are looking very very nice at the moment so 65 gone um, I think Boyle needs to come off and we'll bring on uh, Marais and then we'll make our final three changes with 10 minutes to go so we'll do that now um, let's do Wagstaff off and Francesco on um, what else do we need to do Martos could do with coming off so that will be Kermsa and I think we go Lapsovich for Barre and I'm pretty sure that's all of them it is so let's make those changes as Markovic stands over a free kick for Aston Villa finds McDonough Wagstaff intercepts finds Bidner it's back with Satilmis Martos into Alonso back to Marais Martos to Comey Comey comes over the halfway line, plays it forward, but Markovic is there and the highlight comes to an end. Stoke still lead Tottenham 1 0. So uh, as it stands, we're going uh, level on, goal, on uh, points with Tottenham, ahead of them on goal difference, and four clear of Arsenal in third. And that's the full time whistle. So I'll be back in a moment to show you the second match of today's episode. Okay, so following an off-camera win in the Champions League over my old club at Juventus, time now for uh, the second match of today's episode as we make the uh, trip to uh, a surprisingly 19th placed Manchester United and the team that's going to go there and try and beat them is Falcao in goal, back four of Wagstaff, Marais, Stilmis and Regis, Zerbrug at the base of midfield, Alonso and Lopez ahead of him, Barre on the left, Francesco on the right, Lapsovic up front. So let's submit the team. Go and give the team talk. Okay, this time my assistant is recommending we've been on a good run lately. Go out there and impress me. Um, no, I'm going to disagree with him this time. We're going to pump the fists and tell them... Um, I expect nothing but a win from this match to keep our good run going and let's get out there uh, can we have some team news uh, one or two adjustments um, Alonso starts again and will no doubt be looking to continue his fine vein of form how pleased have I been with his performances he's playing well um, how are the squad feeling right now uh, happy, confident and ready to play football so let's get into the match. Remember, Manchester United second bottom in the league. So we have a chance to really deepen their uh, relegation worries if we can get the three points here. Zerbrug to Alonso, plays it forward. And uh, Santana comes out to the edge of the area to uh, collect. Plays it forward. Uh, Satilmis wins it. Alonso to Lopez. Into Lapsovic. Plays it to the right for Regis. He's into the area. Crossfield ball. Picked up by Barre. And cut out by Anthony. McGonagall plays it forward. But we win it back. Alonso to Wagstaff. 
into Barre, but he can't get hold of it. And Satil Miss gives the ball away. It's a very sloppy ball. And luckily, the shot is over the top for Manchester United. So I think we need a demand more and a possible rethink. So far, Manchester United have been much the better team. And uh, the question is what we do about that. So let's demand more. And uh, I think we're going to have to make a couple of half-time subs. Um, Lopez is definitely uh, needing to come off. Beyond that, I'm not too sure yet. Um, but yeah, Lopez's race is run at half-time. And then we'll uh, we'll see what else we need to do after that. As uh, Asp Jonsson has a go, and it falls to the player on the right, but it's uh, end of highlight, and this time we get to have a go. Alonso to Lopez forward for Francesco to the right for Regis. Infield is Zurbrug into Alonso. Uh, Barre to Lapsovic. He's in on goal but shoots straight at Santana. Highlight comes to an end and there's the half time whistle. So let's go in there, tell them we're disappointed. Um, we'll go with not happy. And let's make our changes. There's going to be two, I think. So Oscar Lopez for Ryan Boyle and Regis for Francesco and then we'll take Regis off and bring on Florian Bidner. So that will do for now, we'll start the second half and let's see if we can grab a win as Boyle's corner comes in all the way through to Francesco who puts it in the net but it is disallowed it's a free kick to Manchester United and the highlight came immediately to an end so we'll demand more and we'll take Lapsovic off we'll bring on Shevchik And I think we take Barre off as well. And bring on... Who could we bring on? Mike Wilson. Shevchik is forward though. Shoots and very nearly beats Santana in the Man United goal. Right, Francesco is shattered. But we've only got a goalkeeper left on the bench now. As that's played in and very, very nearly gave Manchester United a shock lead. There's 15 minutes left. Right, let's get Francesco off if we can. And we could bring somebody on. Let's try and rejig things a little. Um, if we put... Marais to a right back. Francesco could come off and uh, Mark Talbot could come on. And then at, in fact, one, two, three, four, that's five subs. So we'll confirm those changes as Benoit plays it forward. Uh, it's headed down for Martinez and he's offside. So we get away with that one. We'll demand more again. Can we find a way through this uh, surprisingly uh, well-drilled Manchester United defence? But will we get one more chance and will that be the one that gives us the, li the uh, lead and potentially the win? So Boyle's ball forward. Uh, Alan Toft clears. Talbot wins his header 
and then it's given away at the second time of asking then cleared uh, Le Breton plays it back but Wilson picks it up Alonso de Boyle plays it out to the left for Shevchik who crosses it for Bidner and he slices his shot wider the target when it was easier to score go the other side of the keeper he can't miss and he did miss and it finishes Manchester United nil Newcastle United nil and I'll be back in a moment to show you the league table and tell you what's coming up on the next episode okay time now to take a look at the league table and as you can see with that uh, draw against Manchester United in the second match of the episode we have dropped off top spot we are second in the table, a point behind leaders Tottenham, having both played nine matches. So uh, let's take a look at when we're going to come back. And I've already made the decision. I'm going to bring you back and I'm going to show you the uh, Champions League away game against Monaco and the home game in the Premier League against Manchester City. So if you've enjoyed that, please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for Monday to Friday Football Manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.